So um, Los Angeles is the largest garment producing city in the United States. Um, about officially 45 to 50,000 workers are employed in the garment industry here in Los Angeles, but we know that that's probably much more. Um, and these factories or sweatshops, because many of them are small, very underground, kind of just those things that you can imagine, broken windows, going down dark hallways, going into the back of a street and finding a building, and that's the actual sewing factory, are located here in Los Angeles currently because of a new trend of receiving garments from Asia, the Pacific Rim, South Asia, um, to the United States, and those garments are partially sewn, not completely sewn, and so there's a, a way to actually have a different kind of tax bracket because the garments are not finished. And what happens here in Los Angeles, um, not ever all garments, but mo most of the garments are then completed here and in something called the fast fashion industry. So in order to supply Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe or those very often youth and teen kind of focused fashions um, to have many different kind of options almost every week those fashions are changing those um, garments need to be sewn here and quickly sent to the stores company pay me weekly for 125 it is more than 55 uh, hour a weekly and then because I don't speak Spanish and make conversation I don't know my rights so I thought it's big money after um, two years I start to make conversation with the other worker that I find the company lying me. They pay the other worker uh, like 350 weekly. And she, uh, the company only pay 125 to me and they say I give you uh, uh, enough money and I'm happy because I don't know my rights. Currently, we do have two campaigns. Uh, one is um, the Ross campaign, um, where um, we were able to identify Ross as, as one of the biggest brand that hired the highest volume of sweatshops in Los Angeles. Um, and this was ba uh, based on the knowledge of our workers, but also a report that was done by the Labor Commission which uh, confirmed what we already know. So we launched a campaign um, against Rost about uh, now two and a half years ago. Um, this is also because Rost make $14 billion just last year. Um, so we know that they are able to pay workers with much better wages, but they have not. And it's because there is a loophole where um, they're not held accountable by law. Um, you know, they see themselves as a, a con uh, as someone that's contracting these subcontractors. However, we know that they should be held accountable. 